Hi everybody, welcome back to the Book the US series. My name is Cameron Phillips. If you guys are new or if you're coming back to the series, welcome back. So I wanted to sit down for a minute and talk to you guys about what's been going on about the series, about this next episode coming up and actually film this in real time. So basically, if you're new to the series, I've been traveling around the country all summer exploring the most unique hotels and properties around the country with Booking.com. Booking.com put together a campaign called Book the US, which is all about highlighting these crazy places you can book on the website. They picked me to go on this big adventure and it's been crazy and I'm sharing the stories with you guys now. With that being said, it was incredibly difficult to actually get out content while I was on the road and that's why I'm uploading all the videos now in late September and for the whole month of October because it was just too crazy on the road. I did not want to rush through things, but I am here now and I'm going to be giving you guys all the amazing stories from it and I promise that they're going to be a little more juicy than the first couple episodes. Actually, this was seriously one of the craziest travel experiences I've ever had. Absolutely crazy and a lot of the stories I, I can't even begin to describe what this experience has actually been like. <laughs> Three and a half hours of sleep. Oh, there's not- this place is closed down. Oh, sh so for the next month, I'm editing nonstop to get these projects out for you guys and share these stories with you. I'm trying to pay off my $10,000 worth of credit card debt from this whole experience. But enough of that, I'm so excited to share with you guys this property. This was one of my favorites of the entire trip. It's called the Time for Bed Dome. Daniel and I drove from Chicago down to the dome and got the whole story. One other quick note. I have had the worst problem with audio on this channel. I don't know how to get good audio. I spent $250 on this Rode VideoMic Pro and this was maybe the worst $250 I've spent in 2018. The audio quality sucks. I bought this to help eliminate wind noise, to help get clearer, crisper audio so you guys could hear what I'm saying and like get a much better quality of video. And honestly, this was worse than the onboard microphone. If anyone has any microphone tips of how I can make this work better, please, I would love your feedback. <laughs> Anyways, on to the time for Bed Dome. Thank you guys so much for being here for this series. I know this intro has gotten very long now, but thank you guys, I really appreciate it. I know I've not been the best with consistency. I never have been. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. But without further ado, the time for Bed Dome. My name is Cameron Phillips, and this summer, Booking.com sent me on a quest to find the most unique properties around the United States. This is the adventure of a lifetime with properties so amazing that you'll never want to stay in a regular hotel again. With this series, I'm offering everyone $30 of free travel credit on Booking.com to jumpstart your adventure. Make sure to use the link in my bio to get your free $30, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode, and follow me on Instagram to see more of these iconic properties. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we're leaving Chicago and we're on our way south into the heart of Indiana to a part of the country I've never been to before. We're going to stay in a place called the Time for Bed Dome. And when I say dome, I mean it's literally like a dome. It looks like a UFO, an orb, some kind of thing in the random farm country of Indiana. I'm quite shook. Uh, we just stopped at Chipotle, got some lunch. We worked this morning at a Starbucks in Chicago. Now we're off for a little road trip about two and a half hours down in Indiana. Let's go see what we find at the time for Bed Dome tonight. I'm pretty excited. We're cruising down the highway in rural Indiana. We're pulling up to the dome and we just saw it for the first time. Literally, what is this place? I can't wait to get the story on this because really, why was this built? Oh, right there? Oh, um, guys, we are literally out here in the country. In our hybrid car, that's, we, when we got in the car, the range was 460 miles, and it's still at 460 miles. That is pretty iconic. Oh, I don't want to hit this saucer. Ooh. I think I missed it. Oh, no. Oh, my God, look at this place. here at least as of now okay let's go see what the tea is I'm excited so have you guys ever heard of a monolithic dome we are staying at a giant concrete monolithic dome that is also a bed and breakfast 
This stop on the Bookie.com tour is probably one of my favorites so far because it's the first time that it's actually a unique property run by a small family that we actually get to meet. The other properties we've been to have been super big, like Casa Casolina, the Versace Mansion in Miami. They don't need our promo. It was the high society murder that stunned the world. Gunned down on the steps of his lavish... The place in Georgia, they don't need our promo. Last night, the Frank Lloyd Wright House, that place is already iconic. He may be America's most famous name in architecture, Frank Lloyd Wright. This place is iconic, affordable, and these people are amazing and deserve to have business. This place was unbelievable. When we showed up, it was really one of those properties that I was like, I don't know if I really want to stay here. Um, when we were looking at the list in the beginning of the project, I was like, this does not seem like something that I need to do. But then they, they pushed me to do it. I did it. And I was so glad I went because just, I, I'm really fascinated by architecture and by like design, things like that. And to actually stay in a home that was so truly unique. So we first rolled up, we're literally like, where are we? Because we're rolling through the farm country, don't really know what's going on. And we roll up on this place. It's called the Time for Bed Dome and we're about an hour and a half south of Chicago. The sun's coming out to greet me for this intro. Basically what they did is inflate a giant balloon on the inside, spray foam, then spray concrete with rebar, and they built this dome structure. And what is absolutely mind-blowing, if you guys don't know this, I'm a bit of a science nerd and a weather nerd, this dome can withstand 300 mile per hour winds. There are a few structures on this earth that can say that about themselves. 300 mile an hour winds, that's hurricane proof, tornado proof, unbelievable to be honest. Just from the method of construction to the fact that it's like disaster certified and crazy, who would have thought, right? And on top of that, it's two full stories, a basement and an attic. Like, I mean, literally guys, where are we? We met the owner, they're a couple, super sweet people. They're from Illinois originally and they moved down here to retire and open a bed and breakfast and they've had some amazing people. We talked to them for hours about the people they've had through, the history of it. They only bought it two years ago. They didn't actually construct it, but apparently the people who actually did construct it, there's a whole community of these dome houses and people who build them and live in them. And it's super cool. I've never stayed anywhere like this, for sure. So we're inside the dome now, and you can see the roof is way up there. Isn't that crazy? So we have the main level here, bedroom level up there, and then a top little attic room at the very, very top of the spiral staircase connecting it. They told us all about the construction of this place and the long process of how they made it. They have to put on individual layers of concrete, like one layer, let it dry and set, another layer. And there's several layers that are required to make it sturdy enough to withhold its own weight. And apparently the walls at the bottom are much thicker than the top, again, holding that weight down to the bottom. Super interesting, I had no idea that dome homes were a thing. Gorgeous evening here in rural Indiana, and of course, you know, being a city boy, I was a little like, I wouldn't actually call myself a city boy, let's be honest, I'm not a city boy, but being someone who hasn't spent any time in like the rural part of the Midwest, I was kind of like, what are we gonna expect? Like, what are we gonna get ourselves into? Like, what's the, you know, what's it gonna be like tonight? But it was super relieving to come here and have amazingly nice people were loving to talk to us about everything about their place give us the full story, it was super appreciated. And it's funny, because the rooms up here are themed. One, they're transitioning into a steampunk theme, and the other is the pheasant room. Look at this, guys. And another thing I love about this place is the view off the balcony. I could sit here with a cup of coffee or a glass of wine for hours and watch the sunset over the prairies. I have a little bit of a love affair with the prairies, don't really know why. Even though I wouldn't even consider this the prairies, this is Indiana. Prairies are more Canada, Montana. Anyways, look at this, guys. It is a lovely morning and we're saying goodbye to our, oh, we're saying goodbye to Time for Bed at B&B this morning. It was an amazing night. The hosts, Crystal and Bill, were amazing. Honestly, such sweet people. And like I was saying yesterday, it's amazing meeting people on this booking.com journey who are actually real people and not big organizations that run hotels. Like super, super sweet people. And I would really encourage you guys to come visit here. If you're ever in this area or looking for a unique place to stay, like honestly, 
this is the first place that I'm really like, yes, like support these people. This is amazing. Anyways, today we have a five and a half hour drive to Ohio. We were going to stay at the Mohicans, which is a resort that has tree houses and cabins in the woods. Super excited. I think it's gonna be a bit of an adventure trying to get there today, so we will see how that goes. It's nice and warm out here. Monday morning, got a whole bunch of work done today. I had a beautiful breakfast, Crystal hooked us up. And I'm still looking at this dome thing, like what is this? <laughs> we're on our way to Ohio through the fields of Indiana. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen today and also where we're yeah. gonna end up tonight. It's gonna be definitely a unique experience. Yeah. So, after we left the time for bed dome, we hopped in our rental car and drove five hours to the Mohicans in Ohio. It was like a nature rustic retreat in the heart of Ohio which is probably not what people expect when they think of Ohio. They probably think of like industrial, like the Rust Belt, like Cleveland, the Great Lakes. I don't know, I'm not from Ohio. That's just what I had thought of. So now all of a sudden here we are in the wilderness with giant trees and rolling hills and it's totally stunning. So we've been driving all day and now we're working our way through the backwoods of Ohio. As you can see, it's totally forested in. We're trying to find the Mohican cabins and they said that most GPS's won't locate it, so we're a little like, are we gonna end up in the right place or not? I've never been anywhere like this out on the East Coast, I guess the Midwest. Super cool, I'm excited to see what we have tonight. And we found out that we were supposed to be staying in a tree house. We're not actually gonna be staying in a tree house tonight because there's a bit of a mix up. It's all good though. We'll show you some of the tree houses, which seems super cool. And, okay, this is so funny, guys. So maybe it's down to the right a little bit more. But it said the thing would be on our where. Do I have service? No. Uh, I two do. bars now. We try and call someone. The drive is well. Let's just go back and just go straight down that little road. Well, it doesn't say turn. It just says we've been having a little bit of issue trying to find where our cabin is. Um, we found the main area where the tree houses are, which is not where we're staying, and now we can't find the cabin. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I think and we were supposed to be staying in a tree house, but there was some miscommunication. We ended up not getting a tree house. So we got this really cute cabin instead. There's a tree house being built. Okay, so I think we found it. Okay, this place is so cute. And after the little bit of confusion trying to find it, I'm so pleased. Okay guys, it's the morning. Uh, we had a good night's sleep. It poured rain for a little while. We watched a movie. We have no service, no Wi-Fi, no nothing in here. So it was crazy. It'd be so cool to come here and stay for like a weekend or for like more than one night. You could bring groceries and games and have a fire and hang out with your friends. That would be super cool. Unfortunately, we only had one night. So it was a little bit of a rushed experience per se. Um, but still super cool. I never knew there was like wilderness like this in Ohio. I just thought a lot more kind of farm fields and such but anyways it is the morning now and it is a nice day the only problem is that we're pretty far from food or coffee so we're gonna hop in our little rental car take her back to cleveland today let me quickly show you some of the inside this place is super cute and honestly it sleeps like eight people which is insane here's one of the actual tree houses over here this is just across from our cabin which is right over there and they're actually building another tree house right there. Back near the main area, there was, I think, three or four more tree houses. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy. They're literally 10 feet above the ground in a tree. <laughs> okay, it's time for coffee. We need to start this day off right. We got the coffee, and we're heading into Cleveland to actually go get some more coffee. Oh, it's working? Okay, goals. We're having some podcast issue, but we're all good now. Off to Cleveland. On the show. Subscribe. Bye-bye. So with this wrapped up our East Coast slash Midwest leg, the first East Coast type thing. So in the next episode, you're gonna see us traveling to the West Coast. We're gonna be in my car for this epic month long road trip. And that's when the stories start to get like incredibly juicy. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I would love for you guys to join our family. I'm really working hard to um, rebrand some of my content here and I wanna make the best stuff possible for you and travel the world. So thank you for being here. Thank you for giving this video a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys very, very soon. Also make sure to check out the article on phenomenaltraveler.com, my travel website, which has articles from all these different properties that will be coming up as the videos go up. So definitely check those out and I'll see you guys very, very soon for a whole bunch of new videos from this whole experience. So thanks again. Bye guys. Love you so much.
great. Mm -hmm. It's a little theatrical. <laughs> Good.